Now we're talking about latency. So before we were talking about that awesome highway that had you know, eight lanes on it and, and rush hour traffic on the 405 in LA. But you know, as much bandwidth as that really wide highway would provide you on the internet, can't really move very fast when it's full of traffic. Um, now we're talking about latency and what does that mean? Well, all of that traffic is actually what is the latency. So no different on the internet. The other thing that introduces latency on the internet is what's called hops. And basically think of hops as those routers we were talking about in an earlier module that go from A to Z, right? So the more routers in between where you're trying to connect from to what you're trying to consume on the internet, um, the more latency you're gonna have by nature, right? It's no different than uh, you know, having to stop for gas 10 times on your trip to grandma's house. A real life internet-based scenario would be, let's say you're sitting at home and you're trying to send an email message to your grandma, right? Well, on provider one, you have one, two, three, four hops to grandma's house to get that email message delivered to her over the internet. That's a pretty, pretty common amount of hops, right? Pretty, pretty nice. Well, let's say on provider two, you have two extra hops. Well, that's gonna introduce latency, right? And that's not preferred, right? So hopefully you're on a Cox internet connection and you have an awesome fast connection to the internet and a lot less latency and hops and your email message gets to grandma just that much faster. Now in the business world where this actually makes a real difference is when you're using services like desktop as a service. You've got your end user at an office or at a Starbucks or at a hotel, wherever they might be using it, um, connecting to the cloud where their desktop sits. Well, you really wanna make sure that wherever that end user is, there's limited number of hops and lots of bandwidth for them to access that cloud desktop. Otherwise, they're gonna have really slow screen refreshes if they're trying to watch video or, or open a large file. It's gonna be incredibly slow and not very good uh, end user experience. So a couple other concepts when we're talking about latency is QoS. Right? So quality of service. And what that is, is basically it gives us the ability to prioritize certain um, pieces of data over others. So these days, many people are getting their phone service over the internet or voice over the internet. Um, commonly uh, referred to as voice over IP. Um, well, what you don't want to happen on a phone call is hear, or hear pauses or stutters or choppy voice. And that can happen if you send a large email attachment and you're trying to talk on the phone at the same time, you're gonna have really bad voice quality. Providers like RapidScale and Cox and others can actually prioritize those voice packets over the internet ahead of the email, preserving the bandwidth um, to be able to get uh, those voice calls completed and, and you know, with a very high quality. So one of the common things that you have to think about when you're, when you're talking about latency is where is my cloud provider connected to the actual internet backbone, right? And you know, in the US, there's um, a number of very large internet pops and, and rapid scale and Cox are peering at all of those major pops. So if you think about connectivity points like Los Angeles, you think about Northern Virginia or the DC metro area, you think about Chicago, you think about Dallas, those are major, major peering points. Um, what you don't want to do is pick uh, a cloud provider that has a data center in the middle of, you know, Ohio, for example, right? Where there's not great internet connectivity and you're really far away from all of the services like Office 365 and, and Skype and, you know, SharePoint Online and Salesforce.com and all those tools that most businesses have come to rely upon. So to recap, what is latency? Well, latency is the distance and the amount of time it takes to get from point A to point B. You know, conversely, where bandwidth is, how much highway do you have to actually send? How much data can you send across that link uh, all at one time? So in an ideal world, you want lots of bandwidth, very limited latency, and that gives your end users a very happy experience.